Hi, before talking about IEP spoofing, I need to talk about how the internet works. Once a user is connecting to an internet via an internet service provider like Vodafone or Geo, once the user connects, he will request for an IP address. Obviously, the internet service providers will be returning an IP address to you. So using this IP address, the user will be accessing the website via the World Wide Web. This is how the process is. Once the user like try to access a website, the World Wide Web will identify the request like wikitiki.com for that wikitiki.com which is a server it will identify the request will be passed to the particular server the server will process it and based on the user's request the particular web page will be written back to the server this is how your internet works and over here the IP address which is now yeah, four digit number a four number which is used to identify the server and it is used to identify the user so this IP address is unique and it is like it is given dedicatedly to that particular person so in the internet world now we'll talk about the IP spoofing. Once the IP address is allocated, the user will be accessing the website using this IP address. But unfortunately, or maybe a hacker will be using a fake IP to get the website access so that the website can't identify who access it. Obviously, this is how the process is. Like the user will be accessing the internet. The ISP provider will provide an IP address to this guy. Okay, now I got the IP address. Now there is a proxy server in the mid which the hackers will be used to create a fake IP address. The request will be via the internet to the proxy servers or VPN. The proxy servers will give a IP address which is a fake IP address. Using this fake IP address, the hackers will be entering into these websites so that the websites can't identify that particular hacker. Now, the user is trying to access the website via the proxy server. The World Wide Web will recognize like what is the request based on that the as usual process of identifying the web server and giving the request to the server is happening. Now, the website will be thinking that it's a genuine user obviously returning back all the data which the user is requested now it is transferred via the proxy server to the end user this is how the normal process is happening over here instead of using a genuine IP address to access the website the hackers are using a fake IP address to access the website so that the website can't identify who is the guy access my website this is how the process this process is referred to as IP spoofing and you should be really careful in doing this IP spoofing the reason is like uh, the IP spoofing is a basic technique used in the internet world by the hackers obviously cyber security specialists can identify this kind of IP spoofing our company Kashi Infotech we are providing lots of software ethical hacking courses it's a hundred hours course I'm going to conduct by next week in upcoming weeks and in continuously I'm going to conduct this kind of hundred hours training the recent next level of course is like on English version it's going to happen in May 25 to June 7 Tamil version is going to happen June 1 to June 14 and you got very less number of registrations okay so limited registration seats are available and here's the registration link and apart from that the timing for this particular course is flexible and here is my Profile, just check it out and the type of training is purely practical and it's a live class and live demos everything is live and we got almost 80 plus hacking tools and two hacking operating system I'm going to teach and if you're looking for any flexible timings sir I can't make it out in this particular dates you just contact us we are ready to help you and we got a lot of certificate ethical hacking courses online offline internships and also hacking projects we are helping you so if you are really interested to do this online course or something like that just here's the registration link you check it out and here's the contact numbers and whatsapp number is given you can contact me at any time and this is Venkat signing out from wikitechie and kashi and thank you